So the Real Pet Food Company is based in Australia. Our head office is in Crow's Nest in Sydney. Here in New Zealand we've got approximately 80 employees. 55 of them are employed in two manufacturing facilities, one here in Christchurch and one in Auckland. Employee safety is a paramount concern for our company. We want every employee to come to work happy and confident that they can perform the tasks we ask them to do safely and efficiently every single day that they're employed by us. There needs to be a real appreciation by both the business and its employees of just how important keeping people safe really is. Traffic management is a major concern with us. We have a very confined space as we've grown into our operation over a, a long period of time. People in forklifts work very close together and it's very important that we keep these guys separated and, and everyone's aware of what's happening around them. We always knew that we had an issue. We did have a WorkSafe inspector turn up and, and talk to me about our traffic management. We engage with him, my counterparts in Australia and our staff to refine our traffic management system. One of our staff members cut his finger on the blade of a bandsaw. We had the operator who was cutting the frozen blocks and we had a second guy who was on the back side of the bandsaw removing those frozen blocks and then putting them onto racks. Um, the guy that was behind the bandsaw was doing it in a scooping motion instead of removing them one block at a time as required. And as such, with the scooping motion, his hand went out and around and ended up in front of the blade. We automatically shut the place down and, and notified WorkSafe as required. We discussed with the staff and with WorkSafe, we did a duty holder review. A duty holder review is a voluntary engagement when a notifiable incident falls below the threshold for investigation, but we feel that lessons can be learned from it. We were notified of an incident at Real Pet Food and we decided to engage with them to learn what lessons we could from it. So it was determined that it fell beneath the threshold for a formal investigation. Uh, but we felt that we didn't want to just close the file off. We thought there were lessons that we could uh, work through. Stacy was uh, very good about it. He was, he was quite willing to be involved in the process. Uh, they have uh, good procedures in place and he was quite willing to share those and get feedback on those. WorkSafe were very, very good. They engaged with us very well. Although we already had clearance, from WorkSafe for the corrective action that we'd already put in place. Our technical director from Australia went to Scott's Automation in Australia to have a look at this blade stop technology. Um, we did some local research as well around it and from there we engaged staff, spoke to them around it. The decision was made that yes, this would be beneficial to everybody. We can't do what we do without our staff. Um, they are, are very important to us and it's fantastic to see the, the positive influence that they're having on staff, you know, and, and when you talk to the operators and, and they're telling you how they feel safe and confident using these new saws is fantastic. I think probably the main uh, safety feature is just the um, automatic cutoff. If, the, uh, if your hand gets too close to the, to the blade, it's pretty reassuring to have that, to have that there. When we first started, it was uh, you know just getting used to something new, so it was a bit frustrating at times. But um, yeah, you know, just the more you use it, you know, the, the more confident you get at using it. Yeah, it's great. The machines cost eighty six thousand dollars each, and people might think, well, that's a lot of money, um, but it's an investment in our staff's future. Production's up. The guys are really confident. They know that they can turn up. They can do their job. They feel safe, and that's what it's all about.